Well, sword fighting and intense martial art is being practiced by fencers right here in town. News West 9's Christina Burgess joins us in the studio to tell us more. Good morning, Christina. So this is a unique type of fencing. Yes, Jolena, it, it's still fencing just with more rigorous um, skills that are thrown into it for fencers. Uh, the sword school, it teaches historical European martial arts fencing. The club is the only one in West Texas and fencers at the school are being taught a defensive and combative style of the sport, like you would see in a Hollywood movie. This sport has especially made an impact on one Midland High School senior. Normally in a gym, you would walk in and see people working out. But in this one, people aren't just picking up weights. They're yeah, picking up swords. Dennis Koontz is a Midland High School senior who is a part of the sword school in town, but he is no beginner. Definitely one of the, uh, it's the most enjoyable thing I've done. I mean, I've stuck with it for eight years. The sport has given Koontz the chance to compete amongst other fencers in the U.S. Whenever I went to a competition in Phoenix, Arizona, I placed pretty well. Whenever I did one in Oklahoma, I, I did really well. I placed 12 out of like 78 people. Sky Hilton is his instructor at the sword school and says students at the school end up picking up this sport for various reasons. A lot of people find interest in this because one, you know, they they grew up with their heroes. Their heroes had swords. They grew up watching, game, you know, uh, Lord of the Rings. They like the historical aspect of it. It's a new martial art that they can learn because most people, if they like martial arts, they're going to try to learn as many as they can. And it's weapons, so a lot of martial arts are open hand. This covers a lot of different weapons. And fighting with each other is only strengthening their bond. There's a relationship between me and several other guys and gals there that's, you know, it's kind of like a brotherhood. It's... It's like a brotherhood and a sisterhood. Even though Dennis will be heading off to college soon, he doesn't have plans on putting the sword down just yet. I plan on taking Kima with me to uh, Vermont where I'm going for college. Like, this sport's going to go with me. It's going to go with me everywhere. And hopefully when I retire from uh, my occupation in the future, I can actually start my own fencing school. And if you want to pick up your own sword and learn a little bit about fencing, you can contact instructors at the Sword School. Their information will be linked on this story on NewsWest9.com.